Hey guys, Ivan here. So, Romania Pro, what an amazing top two. As you can see, we have Brad Wilkin and the guy on the left, Behruz Tabani. Now, I know about this guy because he's coached by Milos Sharchev, and I remember last year he had some troubles getting the visa to compete in the US. He competed last year also at the Romania Pro. He was competing against Rafael Brandau, Samson Dauda, and some other top guys. I think he placed second or third, but I think he could have won that show. But he just came out of nowhere, and I don't think the judges really noticed him as much as they should have. Anyways, now I think it's a different story, and I think he is winning this show. But obviously, it is very, very close. I can't really decide, but if I had to choose one right off the bat, based on the videos in the forest that I saw that you are about to see, I would have to say Behrut wins this show, even though Brett looks amazing. Both of these guys really brought amazing, amazing conditioning, like they were conditioned, shredded, head to toe, and basically, if you look at their physiques, you're gonna see all the poses in a moment, and you look at the physiques, and you look at the weak points, you try to find the weak points, but none of these guys have some really prominent weak points, they are both very, very complete, like, sure, Brad could use some more size in the legs, maybe Beckert could use that too, maybe Brad could have better bicep peaks, but like, that's trying, really trying hard to find weaknesses, really, overall, both of these guys are very complete, very big, very muscular, and also, they came ready, like, they came really, really conditioned from the front, as much as from the back, like, look at the glutes, look at the backs, like, these guys really brought a good level of completeness, fullness, and readiness or conditioning. So whoever is watching this show live really had something to watch because this is an amazing show, amazing top two. Both of these guys really brought it. Now, before this show happened, I noticed, I saw a lot of Instagram pages making comparisons between these two guys. When we found out that Bachrod is doing Romania, we knew Brett was doing it. So we saw a lot of comparisons between these two guys. And I was looking at them and I thought, they scaled them wrong. I thought Bachrod was shorter, but that's probably because I saw him last year in Romania Pro and he was competing against Samson Dauda and Rafael Brandau. And those two guys are actually really tall. So that's why I thought Backroot was actually a shorter guy. I thought he was like 212 kind of height. But um, no, not really. As you can see, he's bigger than Brad Wilkin. He's actually a really big guy. Like he's taller than Brad and he's packing as much, if not even more muscle on his frame. So I think that's probably the main reason why he's going to win this show. As you can see from the back, he has probably bigger back, bigger shoulders, uh, more defined hamstrings. Maybe Brad didn't really flex them in this, in this exact moment. You're gonna see a video also in a second. So you can tell me what you think, but me personally, right now I have backward winning in the pre-judging. As far as Brad, in my previous video, I saw these photos from Matt Jansen. And I thought these could be old photos because he looked very, very small, much smaller than what we are used to seeing him. But actually, what was the case was that he was super depleted, probably. And I don't know what kind of peak week protocols Matt Jensen is having these guys do, but it is very common that guys do water and sodium loading at the beginning of the week. And as the show approaches, they get rid of the water, they dehydrate, they stop using as much sodium. Maybe they add it in the day of the show or the day before, something like that. But like at this point, Brett was depleted, you know, from carbs. He was definitely very, very depleted. As you can see, his glycogen stores were not full, they were empty, like he was flat as hell. And on top of that, he might have been drinking a lot of water and taking in a lot of sodium, so he was even a little bit more blurry than he would be if he wasn't doing that. And as the week was approaching, I was following his stories on IG, his uh, posts and what Matt Jansen was posting, and I was looking at him and I thought he's changing rapidly, like he's getting drier and he's getting fuller. And he just kept getting drier and fuller and better, and I think he peaked just perfectly at the moment he hit the stage. I think they did everything absolutely perfectly. I think Matt Jansen got him right this time around. They kind of missed the mark at the Arnold Classic. He was uh, he was not in condition. And now he's peeled, peeled, peeled. And he improved some weak points that he had before. He's bigger. He's shredded. And this is exactly what they were looking for. This is like the maximum that they could have gotten out of Brett Wilkin this year at this moment.
It really sucks that one of these two guys is going to be a loser at the end of this evening. That sucks. You know, both of these guys look absolutely amazing and they both deserve to be pro show winners and to go to the Mr. Olympia. I think both of them are Mr. Olympia caliber bodybuilders. It's very, very close. Right now, as from what I'm seeing, I'm pretty convinced that Beckerut is winning. What do you guys think? Let's check out this footage that I managed to find. Look at Brad Wilkin. He kind of reminds me of Phil Heath when he's doing this pose. It's probably the posing, but also... I mean, it's because he has great glutes, great legs, great back. He has a really good back, uh, and he improved, definitely, a lot. And now he brought Phil Heath level of conditioning, really. So he came really hard, uh, but Behrut is just absolutely amazing. This guy is probably winning this show, I have to say. Here's some top two footage. So obviously, these two guys made the top two. And I haven't really followed Behrut that much on Instagram before. I don't know much about him. I do follow Brett, though. I know a lot about Brett. And I thought he was going to win this show pretty easily. But this guy just came here and stole this show pretty much. Like, as you can see, look at the glutes. I mean, look at how hard his glutes are, actually. Like, that means that he's in condition. That means that he's shredded. And with that conditioning, he brought crazy fullness as well. So this is something that you expect if you are Milos Archev's client. Like, Milos gets these guys peeled and he's not scared to carb them up heavily. So they come shredded and full, and this is the effect that you get. So as you can see, this guy, when you have somebody this genetically uh, blessed and this developed at this level, and you connect him with one of the best coaches in the world, like Milos Archer, who does these crazy protocols. So what they did really got maximum, maximum out of Bechrod. He peaked properly, like both of these guys are at the very peak of their absolute best looks that they could have achieved. Look at the most muscular of Beckford. Wow. And also Brad Wilkin. Like, that's why I'm saying this show is so amazing because the, both of these guys peaked perfectly and they have amazing physiques. Very complete, very symmetrical, uh, very aesthetic as well. Small waists, flat midsections, very good V tapers, actually X tapers. So amazing show. Amazing showing for all the Romanian bodybuilding fans. Whoever went to watch this pre-judging didn't make a mistake. They really saw something insane, something special, something that you don't really see every day in Europe. Honestly, guys, this kind of competition, this level of competition is something you would rather see in American shows, in top shows. Like this level of completeness, muscularity and conditioning, I mean, this kind of quality, that's something that you don't see every day. So this show was absolutely amazing. Who is going to be the winner? We'll see. I'm honestly pretty convinced that it's going to be Bechrut, but I gotta say, Brett really brought it. Brett looked amazing, and I'm sure if he keeps trying, I don't know if there are any more shows, any more chances to qualify for this year's Mr. Olympia, and I'm not really sure which show is next, but I'm pretty sure that if he keeps competing, if he keeps trying... And he doesn't do what he did last year at the Arnold. So he showed up at the Arnold. He didn't win or whatever. He was like sixth or something like that. And he called it a year. He, he, he stopped competing. His season was over. He went back to the off season to improve even more. I don't think he should do that this time around. He looks amazing. He can win a pro show. He's that good right now. He just needs to keep competing until he does that. And he qualifies for this year or next year's Mr. Olympia, which might be even a better strategy, actually. If he qualifies for next year's Mr. Olympia, he has an entire freaking year of growing without uh, sacrificing anything by trying to qualify for the Mr. Olympia like in the mid-season. Like he can have a full-blown long, one-year-long off-season where he can make actually significant improvements. And if he does that, he can do some serious damage to the Mr. Olympia next year. This year, Mr. Olympia is super competitive, and I don't think he could crack the top 10, so I think it's probably even a better strategy if he tried to qualify for next year's Mr. Olympia, even if he wins this show. But we'll see what's gonna happen. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, and bye-bye.